going on everybody mark Villarreal with lcd 956 so today we find ourselves in the beautiful city of arroyo city texas out here in the laguna madre as always you know how we love fishing south texas has some of the best fisheries in texas so today we find ourselves with captain marco what's up guys marco's out here with us today and uh we got a lot of guests with us we have um, matthew over here daniel in the back what's up daniel nathan over here ready to rock and roll and catch some fish god willing so it's a beautiful day uh marco what's your what's your charters for those that want to know uh, it's slime time fishing charters and my phone number is 956-404-6488 now what, guys. what what kind of fishing will they be able to experience uh, with you any and everything so we'll be doing bait fishing but we'll be, we can do it anyway for intermediate starting you know people that have been doing this for a while so you know, wading drifting side casting anchored up with bait you name it we'll do it so just give me a call guys go get some, catch, catch some fish you heard it from the captain himself um your beginner fisherman to your more experienced fisherman everyone's welcome right here at slime chasers slime time fishing. slime time i'm sorry guys slime time <laughs> fishing charters <laughs> So it's uh, 7 in the morning, everyone wishes the best of luck. Do not forget to hit that subscribe button. And let's go catch some fish, everybody. Chartreuse. I got him on the bottom one, the bottom one. <laughs> yeah, it's really short cast, bro. Really, really short cast. Watch, let me walk that way, buddy. Just along the yeah. drop off. So, how are you gonna do, are you gonna do bro? All right, everybody, so we're trying to target some flounder out here. And uh, Captain Marco was telling us um, what to do. He was showing us, demonstrating to us what to do. And we've been here for about five minutes and he landed one right off the back. So remember to always listen to the, to the guide. Listen to the guide. I had gotten a thump and I messed up. <laughs> I heard flounders, they, they tend to stay in the same spot. They really don't get spooked, yeah, right? They do. They really do. So if they're just. You're lucky you'll get them to eat twice. When they're being aggressive and stuff, they'll, they'll definitely. Should you even see them falling? So, is this the technique that you usually do for flounder fishing anywhere that you're targeting them? Um, yeah, or, I, it just depends on the area. If I'm fishing structure, I usually just use uh, one. I don't, I don't do the tandem. Oh, okay. Like if I'm fishing like around docks and stuff like that. When I'm fishing like drop-offs, guts and that stuff, like, I just see that they tend to stack up more in those areas. So like 
I got into to where I, I, I catch two with the tandem. Nice. They're just like piled up right next to each other. Hell yeah. Little red. Oh, what a bummer. It's the only time I said that about a red fish. <laughs> <Got it>. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Yeah. Wow, one of the two. I saw a flat body. I saw that too. I don't know what it Trout. Trout? Or red. Yeah, That's trout. Red. Rod to the test, see what it can handle. If it breaks, it breaks. My first time using it. Oh, really? Yeah, the one that you have right there, that's the one that I. Shit, I love it. Yeah, baby. Woo. I caught this one on the AM on the regular size uh, UV root beer. He ate that shit. We're on, baby. Nice one. Beautiful flounder. Beautiful flounder. Look at that. Look at that beautiful flounder. Pancake, baby. <laughs> Woo, baby. Look at that pancake. Look at that pancake, baby. Woo! It's right there, baby. UV root beer. It's the second one I catch on UV root beer. Where is 
we're using a tandem rig and this is a quarter ounce two watt k wigglers uh jig head this is a screw lock jig head so i'm going to take off this gulp because this gulp hasn't really been doing much for me and i'm going to change to another uh, am fishing lures so that uv root beer has been working i'm sorry that uv root beer has been working very good um i don't know if i should just go uv root beer or maybe put another exciting color from am fishing I get my box a little wet but it's okay let's see unless i got a uv root beer that has not been on a hook yet i'll go ahead and put that but if i don't i'm gonna have to get a new lure let's go with this this uh changeover color right here so let's go with this changeover color so this is a screw lock jig head and uh, this is how we put it on we measure it from the outside to where the lure hits your weight we put our thumb right here where it bends right here at the hook because that's where our uh, hook is going to come out through we're going to slide it straight down the middle it's going to come out right about there where our thumb placement is push it a little bit towards the spring and you're going to twist it clockwise remember don't twist it from the tail because you can probably get that tail cut off as you twist it so try to twist it more uh, uh, towards the body right here and that's all it is so now we have two am lures i've caught three pancakes with that one lure right there so let's see what you're gonna do i'm gonna show y'all i'm gonna show y'all what i've been doing this is what the captain showed me i'm just tossing it right there not far at all i'm not tossing it high and i'm just slightly bouncing it double bounce now when the when the flounders see it it's gonna feel like you snagged something. It's gonna be dead weight. And then once you think that you snagged something, um, give it about three seconds, you're gonna feel the tappings of the, of the flounders. Sometimes you'll feel the hit. Sometimes you'll feel that hit. But a lot of the times what I've been experiencing is uh, like a dead weight. And once I feel a dead weight, I give it about three seconds and then I set my hook. That's what the, that's what the guide, um showed us earlier and i'm out here fishing by myself they're all the way over there and i decided to just spend some time alone try to kind of get practice the feel for the floundering and all that so i am using an lcd 956 custom rod this is our performance high performance custom rod this is a moderate fast action and um so basically i'm just throwing it right there there's a drop off so i'm throwing it right at the drop off i'm see i'm not even casting far I'm giving it a double bounce and letting it fall on the ground. Double bounce, letting it fall on the ground. Double bounce, letting it fall on the ground. And as you've seen in my videos where I've been catching them, I'm kind of just waiting. You see me just waiting because I know I have something. I give it about three seconds and then I set my hook. So that's what I'm doing. So we started from over there and we worked our way back over here where I'm coming from. Now I'm going back towards the boat and I'm hitting these nice little spots where where the captain said that it's gonna be promising. See, I felt I felt a hit right there. I felt a hit, so I'm not gonna bother it. I'm gonna tighten my slack. I don't feel nothing no more. I'm gonna keep on working my lure. Just pop it and let it set. That's it. You know, this is awesome. I love fishing uh, different species. I love learning different techniques because I can come and teach you all and my customers that come to the store i can teach them and show them um, the rigs and everything and i can come up with new rigs for my customers and some great ideas for them you know show them and pass on the knowledge that i learned myself so everybody can learn and catch fish that's what we're about here at lcd 956 bait and tackle i wish i can catch one as i kind of explained to you all um, but you know, that's the way fishing goes. So stay tuned everybody. And uh, hopefully we get our limit. I need two more for my limit, all right? We're on again, baby. We're on again. <laughs> Woo! Look at that LCD 956 rod in action. Hitting flounders after flounders. 
I'm using a tandem rig and I'm using a AM uh, lures root beer at the top and I'm using a gulp at the bottom but I think I'm gonna change that gulp to another AM lure look at that beautiful fish look at that beautiful fish oh yeah baby One thing I hate about tandem rigs, it gets caught up on your net. Look at that. Look at that beautiful pancake. A big shout out to Captain Marcos, Slime Time Fishing, for uh, giving us some uh, knowledge on flounder fishing. This is something I've been wanting to do for a long time. And he taught me, he taught me some very good stuff about flounder fishing and, and my, my most uh, appreciations I'll go out to captain marcos look at that baby look at that color uv root beer this is my third one hopefully we get on some mo check that out i'm very very excited very happy and i've been catching them on the lcd 956 custom rod See what we got going on. Look at those. <laughs> I don't know, just right here. Everybody. so that was the end of today's fishing trip with captain marcos slime time yes sir and uh we're out here filleting some fish we did a pretty good day captain how many flounders did we get uh more or less count about 14 13 14 we got about 13 14 flounders in the ice box and three beautiful size reds it was a pretty awesome day. Um, we did learn a lot of stuff with, with this guy today. He taught us some pretty neat stuff. You know, flounder fishing is something I've been wanting to do with rod and reel for a long time. And, and he, gave, he gave me some great tips that I can uh, go and carry on and, and go try someday and, and perhaps teach some of you all. So it was a pretty awesome day. Out here in Arroyo City, got a little windy. And don't forget, if you want to book yourself a trip with Captain Marcos, how do they book a trip with you, Captain? Uh, you guys can call me uh, or text me at 956-404-6488 or uh, find me on Facebook under Cap uh, Marco Arispe or Slime Time Fishing Charters. Marco Arispe, Slime Time Fishing Charters. I'll leave the link below so y'all can uh, check them out and, and come out with him and get a trip for yourselves. Get on some flounder. This guy's been killing the flounder. I was not expecting to catch flounder today and it was just it was just super awesome. I can, I, I, I'm very excited. We're going to eat very very good and this was the end result check out the fish that's it everybody so we're gonna fillet some fish and uh, see us on our next videos don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you want to get some of those awesome lures that I was chunking today, visit our website at www.lcd956baitandtackle.com for your uh, fishing apparel and more. Visit our website. Do not forget to hit the subscribe button, the like, the share. Let us know what you think. Leave a comment. And I hope to see you in the water.
One of them, I think yeah. the lips fucking tore. Hi, Mitch just texting me right now. Oh, yeah? Yeah. You need to make that run to the line cut, bro. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. That run. What do y'all usually do? Go down the middle? For the line cut? No. Yeah. Oh, no, no. You ever, you ever done these? You ever done a flounder? Uh, Throwing on to some more. Okay. You can skin. Yeah. So, I, I can do it. I just want right. to see. Just go gentle and just. Yeah, watch. So you, so where do you start? Like, you want me to? Uh, I'm going to show you the one. Mm -hmm. I usually pick it up. Better with one, and then you can pull the Just around right here. Down the Yo! Not go? You're coming out right now? You should not go fishing. <laughs> not where you should. Wait, no. Wendy got you. Yeah, I mean, we got a fucking little flounder, redfish, not that much. Yeah, we caught 13 and 3 reds. What tournament? Oh shit, really? Yeah, no, I mean, it's the Lino caught him on bait over there by the pipeline. But besides that, I mean, we kind of struggled today. It's fucking... Oh yeah, you're gonna need your deer, your deer stock for sure, bro. It's fucking weird. And there's fucking floating grass everywhere. Yeah. You just want to hear his hole, bro? Yeah. That's it. So they're ready to go. I like them whole fried, bro, and then I'll cut them in squares like this. Yeah. The My dad likes to eat them like that. Out. My dad likes to eat them like that. Too. I like stuffing them, bro. Oh, I got, yeah, I got into stuffing them recently. With like the seafood, uh, like a... Yeah, like crab a like, stuff crab animal, like, exactly. Shh, crab, cheese. crab, cheese, shrimp. Fucking good, bro. That's top of the line shit. Crabs, bro. They might even have crabs too. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the ones I caught the other day on bait, and we did pretty good. 
coffee and it smells like shit. You usually just cut up some like mud or some mud piggy first. Yeah, bro, for sure. Definitely, man. Redemption. Yeah, I know. Last time I came with you, we all got skunked. Fucking skunked, bro. Yeah. I think that's the only time I've ever skunked on a waiting trip. Yeah, I know, dude. This is crazy, but. Oh, yeah, bro. Yeah, I know. I know. You have a great one, Marco. Yes, sir, likewise. Be safe, man. I don't know how you're going to want yours, Daniel. Uh, no, let's just try them. I'm going to stuff them. Try stuff, stuff them. Here, they're right here. Did you just take the bones out already? What do you mean? To stuff them? Look, so, butterfly at first, just do this shit. This shit and that. Just open it. Don't, don't clean the meat off, though. There's a scaler there. Can you bring it to me, please? Wait, don't clean it yet. Don't clean it yet, uh, Daniel. Okay. Yeah. Let me scale it. Let me give you the scaler first. You know, I'm gonna put my phone in here before I have another accident. That way. I have. I have a cleaver. That's not gonna work. Unless scales. I think it's too clear. See? Yeah. In the, in the actual bucket, yeah, in that bucket, the the scaler should be there somewhere in the bottom. It's a silver fucking little thing. Did you find it? That, yeah. Let me know when you're ready to go gig, bro. Dude, I'm fucking game anytime. I'm ready. Let me know when you want to go. Shit, let me know when you can go. I'm fucking game anytime. I just don't have the shit for it. I'll provide the boat. Alright. And the spot. <laughs>
don't have an extra bag in me. I don't. I mean, I fucking ran out of it yesterday. <clears throat> Put him in the middle of the bag. 